I'm Brandi Lawson with Fiery Effects, and in this video, we're going to talk about choosing an email marketing service. So email marketing services, they are critical to any business that wants to communicate via email with all of their email list. Um, maybe you already have one, or maybe this is the first time you're thinking about getting one. So we're going to get into how to choose. But first, let's talk a little bit about why you need one, even if you already have one. Um, one, federal law. There's such a thing as a can spam act and email marketing services make it very easy to be in compliance with federal law. Now, if you have an email list that's international, you should also be aware of other international laws that may be actually more strict than the can spam act, which is the U S law. So know what the laws are in the, the countries that you're communicating with clients so that you can choose an email marketing service that will help. Uh, also the other reason to use an email marketing service is that, it makes things easier. It makes it easy to communicate with your clients, allow them to unsubscribe, and it will talk to your other systems. So let's talk about the first thing you need to, to decide on when choosing an email marketing service, and that's what your priorities are. Maybe your priority right now is budget. You can't afford much. Maybe your priority right now is marketing automation. You're ready to get started with building nurture sequences and drip, and you need an email service that will do that, so you're looking to switch. A lot of times when people start to think about marketing automation, the Infusionsoft comes to mind, which is a fantastic tool. But I really recommend Infusionsoft only if you have very well established workflows for all of your leads. Um, if you're just really getting started with marketing automation, Infusionsoft is not the greatest place to start. If you're very sophisticated with marketing automation and you want to have one thing to do it all, um, one ring to rule them all, then Infusionsoft is a great choice. So what are your priorities? The next thing is to understand what other systems that you're using that you will want to communicate with your email marketing service. Maybe you already have a CRM, a client relationship manager. Um, maybe you have something you're using for sales or a website or you're using lead pages. Understand the other systems that you're using so that you can ensure that they will work with the email marketing service. We want all of them to talk together, integrate so that the information flows seamlessly. Then I like to, once you have your priorities and you know what other, what other services you'll need to integrate with, I like to talk about my list of the usual suspects or the places to start. If you're just getting started and budget's a huge consideration, MailChimp is a great way to get started. It's free for up to 2,000 subscribers at this point and you can upgrade and get more automation things and it's very easy to use. So if you're just getting started, check out MailChimp. If you're ready for more sophisticated automation and you're just starting to put those, those systems together, I recommend ActiveCampaign. That's actually what I use and it's really easy to get started with and build very sophisticated systems. In fact, um, I had someone who was an Infusionsoft certified trainer tell me that he couldn't find anything ActiveCampaign couldn't do that Infusionsoft could. So it is a very powerful tool, but it really allows you to incrementally step in and start to build those automations for a very reasonable price point. Um, there's also others to consider like Drip and Connect, uh, ConvertKit, um, but really if you let your priorities and your other systems guide you, it will be easier to narrow down the field. And then finally, when you go to import your list, there is a right way and a wrong way, and the email marketing service will help you do it the right way. And it, may feel a little onerous, but what they're there to do is make sure that you're, uh, you're following federal law and that they're protecting the reputation of their other senders because you don't want to get a bad reputation or be viewed as a spammer by how you're doing your list. So those are the things to consider. You can always find more about digital marketing and connect with us at FieryFX.com.